hope everybody's doing well. Uh, I wanted to go over some Archie comics with you guys and tell you a little bit about them. Um, when I was little, I uh, used to collect them. And sorry, I'm really shaky. It's my medications, so you're gonna have to deal. <laughs> so uh, I collected them when I was a kid. They were probably my favorite way to escape things around me that were going on that I wasn't very happy about. Anyways, um, yeah, I've always liked Archie comics. I never thought that I would actually have some again, but uh, I don't even remember who got me my first comic in the hospital. Um, but my favorite thing to do was I would um, go for my shower, and I would come back and lay in bed with some junk food when I was finally allowed to eat, you know, regular food. And uh, I would watch cops almost every night. And then I would turn off my lights, use my cell phone as a uh, little flashlight, and read my comics to fall asleep. So I wanted to just kind of go through some of them with you. And uh, we'll kind of go through some of them. We have the Jughead Double Digest, giant sized. Um, I had one that was, well, how big was it? Probably like this wide, but I gave it to my roommate when I was doing rehabilitation in a separate hospital. She actually read Archie Comics too. So when we were finished one, we would kind of trade off and it was pretty awesome. So I ended up giving her some of my comics when I left because she was going to be there a little bit longer than me. I just realized I'm talking pretty fast here. Okay, uh, so we have Jughead saying 200 of Pop's Burgers, the perfect way to celebrate my anniversary. By the way, he was paying for this. Now remember, Jughead is obsessed with food. Yeah, I'm a bit of a glutton. So I'll just show you some of the covers, and then we'll go th and we'll pick one and we'll read some of it. I'm thinking of Betty and Veronica because they're my favorite. And we have Archie. Veronica quit decorating Archie and concentrate on the tree. He's <laughs> a lucky guy. Betty and Veronica. What makes this puppy so irresistible? Who knows? Well, looks like Archie. <laughs> I love how uh, some of the humor in, in these comics is, is just very corny, and I love that about them. Betty and Veronica, and Sabrina for Anthony. I know he's a big fan. I know who you are. So can you believe we traveled 10,000 miles to a winter swimsuit cover? Good day, Max. So that's obviously a special magazine. A special comic. And you can get an app. Um, which is pretty cool. I might start collecting them again. I kind of slowed down on reading them, but I'll maybe walk through that one after. I'm just going to move myself closer here. There we go. Burr. I'll never see anything scarier than that movie. And we'll see about that. So yeah, most of them are about five or six dollars here in Canada. Okay. Guess the scarf is just the right size. Another thicker one. <laughs> this one 
it's been well used. Betty and Dilton and Veronica and Reggie and I think this guy's name is Chuck I think <laughs> I think that's Ethel and Chuck's girlfriend I don't remember her either and of course we have Jughead all making a snowman and Archie so I'm gonna pick one. I'm thinking not the winter one because I know there's a lot of us that are just sick of winter. That's a winter. Let's look for Betty and Veronica. Let's do this one. This one. Which one? Let's do this. They are when they're little. And Sabrina's there too. Oh, so cute. <laughs> mm, let's see. It's a little hard to do with one hand. Sorry, guys. Um, let's pick a good one here. We're gonna do a Sabrina story just for a friend of mine. Okay, let's try this. Sabrina, which way is which? That clock must be fast. This is a terrible video. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, that clock must be fast, Aunt Hilda. I can't be right the right time. I have 11.30. Well, your watch is wrong, Sabrina. The clock runs on witch power. It's always correct. Oh my goodness, I'm supposed to meet Harvey at one o'clock. So you still have to some time. Sure, but my hair isn't even set and I have to go pick up my dress at the cleaners. Throw on some sweatpants, girl. Well, you'd better hurry then. Oh, gee. What good is it having a wristwatch? It doesn't keep the correct time. If it doesn't keep the correct time. Because <laughs> she's running, it's so cute. I guess if I hurry, I can still get in time. Get ready in time. Let's look at the speedy cleaners. 25 cents. Could you imagine, guys? Coats. Dollar. What? 50? Oh no. Closed for lunch. Be back at 1 o'clock. Well, really, I mean, it's what, like almost 12.30 when she left. I'm sure she's fine. I have to meet Harvey at one o'clock. What am I going to do now? I can see my dress on the rack inside. Golly, that sure is frustrating predicament to be in. Look how cute she is. <laughs> what if I use some magic to open the door and go in and take my dress out? I'm sure the owner wouldn't mind, as long as I left the money. Zap. I mean, let's face it, there's nothing else I can do. I'll leave the money in the register, and the owner won't even know the difference. Oh, 
ring. Huh? The door is open. I could have sworn I locked it. Hey, what are you doing in my store? What are you doing with your hands in my cash register? Gulp. What are you doing here? Your sign said you weren't coming back until one. Well, it's a lucky thing for me. I came back early. Yeesh. Now, would you mind telling me what you're doing in here, young lady? Gulp. Oh, I'm so shaky. <laughs> well, er, er, I'm in an awfully big hurry, so I just came in to pick up my dress. I was just putting your money in the register when you walked in. You don't expect me to believe that story, do you? Aw, I'm telling you the truth, sir. I would never take anything that didn't belong to me. Maybe so, but there's only one way to find out if you're telling the truth, by counting all of the, all of the day's receipts. Huh? But that will take a little time and I'm in a hurry. Look at that dog. <laughs> so cute. It looks like it's on her. Big mustache going on. A mustache you question. A little Sean Connery for you guys. Well, you could have thought of that before you came in here when the store was closed. Oh my gosh. Is that the correct time? Of course. I hate to do this, mister, but I'm afraid I have to go now. Zap. You're not going anywhere, young lady. Huh? Maybe she is. Where did she go? Poof. That'd be awesome, wouldn't it? Maybe she was never here. Maybe I imagined the whole thing. <laughs> Making him think he's all crazy. Oh my goodness. Can't stop shaking. I'd better stop eating those, what? Pepperoni and jelly sandwiches for lunch. I think they're getting the best of me. Pepperoni and jelly, eh? It's pretty nasty. <clears throat> I hated to disappear on the nice little old man, but I didn't have any choice. So there you are, Sabrina. What kept you? Harvey's on the phone. I'm afraid we'll have to forget about the show today, Sabrina. Why, Harvey? If you're not ready now, we won't be able to get to the theater in time. The show starts in five minutes. Why wouldn't she just use her magic for that? I don't understand. But we can still make it, Harvey. Are you kidding, Sabrina? What are we going to do? Fly there? Ha ha he. <laughs> it would take an act of magic to get us there on time. I don't remember if he knows about our magic. I don't think so. You talk like you were some kind of magician. He he ha ha. It's like, what? Let's forget about the show and I'll meet you at Pop Tate. At two o'clock and I'll buy you a malt. Oh darn it. That's all the fault of this lousy watch I have on. You just can't depend on it. Well, what are you going to do with a mortal's watch on anyways, Sabrina? You should be wearing a watch like me. Oh, which watch? Sure, all of us witches wear witch watches. This is the only way we can be sure of which time it is. He he he. She's like, you're crazy. Here, Sabrina, if you have a date with Harvey and you want to be on time, wear my watch. That's what's wrong with mortals with mortals watches. 
it's as confusing as they are. Thank you, Aunt Hilda. It's a very pretty watch. I can get you a watch just like that for your very own if you'd like, Sabrina. I think I'd like it very much, Aunt Hilda. But I think I'd better get dressed now if I'm going to meet Harvey. Two o'clock. Hi, Sabrina. Where's Harvey? He's supposed to meet me here. I wonder where he is. It's after two, according to my watch. 20 minutes later. Where the heck is he? Did he forget he made a date? Hi, Sabrina. What took you so long? I've been waiting for you for 25 minutes. What are you talking about? It's just two o'clock. Not according to my watch, it's almost 2.30. So it is. Gee, I'm sorry, Sabrina. My watch must be running slow, just like yours was. <laughs> Karma. <laughs> what you and I need, Harvey, is a good witch watch. A witch watch. You mean a wristwatch, don't you? No, I mean a witch watch. It's the only way to see time fly. A witch watch. Well, witch watch is a witch. <laughs> and that's the end. <laughs> so, I'm just going to flip through some of this. Let's just see what else there is. This old fashioned Archie. Oh, coloring page. Look at that. And we had all sorts of little puzzles. Let's see if we can do this. What is this supposed to be? Kitchen Whiz? I see. Cookies, pies. And pizza. Let's see if that's the answer. Where is oh look, I got a little puppy got to my book. Kelsey likes to eat paper. That's her thing. It's just they're so colorful, all the comics, and they're just a very nice way to kind of get out of your head and usually with stuff that I watch or I read I like it to be pretty serious something I can learn from but I have to say Archie comics are a very fun way to just forget about where you are sometimes if you need to uh, just relax and uh, I ran out of uh, data on my phone to watch to be able to watch ASMR videos and that was really upsetting to me so I'm really glad that I have these so there you go guys there's some I do have more um, but these are just the ones that I actually have read I have some new ones. Um, most nights I just put on an ASMR video now because I can. <laughs> and I usually fall asleep within five minutes. So. So, if you guys have any recommendations for any comic books, um, you know what, even if they're regular graphic novels, um, superheroes, anything like that, uh, yeah, just let me know in the comments and uh, let me know if you liked this video. I know it was a little shaky, but uh, I had fun. So. 
have a great night guys or a great day and I will be seeing you very soon.